So as far as the host that we're running this, this is going to be a Linux host. And uh, it's going to be a uh, Ubuntu box. And if you're interested in the Linux kernel version, you know, that is, um, that is the information right here. And what we're going to have is we're going to have this box with a, a accessibility to the management network of our of our viral lab which is uh, in the 172.16.1 network and we're going to use python 3 and if you're interested this is the python version that came with ubuntu 1808 which is python 3.6.9 and we're going to use python virtual environment you know I, I hope you're already familiar with it we should all use python virtual environment whenever we start a project if it uh, isolates the python installation between different projects and it's also a indication that uh, if you add the command line by default that if you see this mark in the beginning that means you're, you've activated your virtual environment and i'm going to go ahead and create a virtual environment you, uh, in python 3 it's actually included in the standard library so I'm going to actually deactivate and that is, you know, by default, I've activated when I log into the box, but um, I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual environment called VNV1 in my current working directory. So the way to do that would just be, remember, I'm, I'm already using Python 3, but, you know, if you want, you could just specify Python 3. So Python 3 dash M using that module. So the first thing after dash m is actually indicating which module you're going to use in this case we're going to use vnv and we're, the second one is what you're going to name the virtual environment and i'm just going to say vnv1 and that what that's going to do is it's going to create a virtual environment vnv1 and if i do a list i could see this virtual environment and i will go ahead and activate it by using source vnv1 bin activate and now you see you know previously you saw vnv now you see vnv1 and if i say which python you can actually see i'm using this virtual environments python in my um main uh, package repository as well as the the previous vnv i've actually already installed request but in this case you know if i use say import request which is a, a very popular package to, for making rest calls that you say hey there's no module name request right so just to prove that we're actually using the virtual environment i'm going to say pip installed requests and um, you can see that it's going out and installing in our virtual environment and it's going to be installed underneath our uh, package a virtual environment package repository so i'm going to clear it and if i do that again is uh, import request now that there's no error that means it's there also to to get out of this environment you just simply did do what i did before which is deactivate so i hope that explains what virtual environment is and um that's a quick rundown um if you need to install it on the, on the windows box if you need to install it on say mac I'll go ahead and include some links for you to look at virtual environment in those uh, operating systems. And uh, from there on, I would assume that you're already using the virtual environment. I might set a reminder here and there, but um, but the assumption is that you've activated your virtual environment and all the package that you install is within there. And it's very convenient because, you know, if you just do remove FR and VNV1, then... Uh, boom that's gone right so you know and uh, it doesn't impact your global environment doesn't impact other virtual environments so that's very convenient so uh hope to uh see you in the next section